Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at a custom integration that's been created between HP Service Anywhere and Google Maps. Um, and what we're going to look at is a, a use case of the, that's very common in, in the field technician arena where a technician is out in the field and he needs to uh, identify where he needs to go next, whether that's based upon the end user's request uh, location or uh, the location of a device or a location of a specific facility or a piece of equipment. Um, field technicians need to get directions on, on where they need to go. Um, so we're going to take a look at a at an integration that has uh, a service anywhere request um, with the location associated to it. And in this case, the location is going to be associated to our end user because um, we're going to uh, mimic servicing a piece of equipment at the end user's location. And we're going to show how, how easy it is to integrate out to Google Maps and get this information uh, embedded in Service Anywhere. And then we're also going to take a look at it from a mobile device aspect, right? Because that's really the end goal here is to get the field technician the information they need at the right time in, uh, in a manner that is very useful for them. So we're actually going to have the, the request initiate a, uh, uh, a view into the Google Maps native application on an iPad uh, for which the the technician can at that point uh, leverage the navigation mechanism that's available uh, as part of a, a Google Maps application. Uh, so right here we're looking at Service Anywhere, the dashboard. So I'm going to drill into our Service Request module. And in Service Request we have, uh, in this case the filter is pulling back a single request that we can take a look at and we're testing uh, map URLs. So if we pull that up, let me take a look at it. So this is the details of the request and the technician could do this from their mobile device as well. Uh, and we take a look at uh, our more information. We have notes and we can see that right there we have an image embedded uh, inside of the notes in the um, in the request. And we can see that that is the location that uh, needs to be uh, uh, attended to. Um, and if we take a look at um, Tori here, um, hopefully, uh, we can see that his location is North America, United States. He actually, his location actually is North America, uh, United States, Boise City Hall, um, which is actually where that uh, pin is at on the on the map there. But we can see that being embedded uh, there in the notes. Um, additionally, we could also go to our discussions tab, um, and we can see that the image is embedded there in the discussions tab as well, uh, as well as the rest of our our notes that have been uh, performed over the over the course of the case. Um, so this is all great, grand, wonderful, but uh, if we go back to our general tab, um, we can just take a look at our case here. And if we go to our more drop-down menu, we have a number of things that have been added here. Um, and these are called custom actions uh, to service anywhere. And these can get created for a number of different reasons. Um, in this particular um, use case for it, we're, we're integrating out to uh, Google, Google Maps. So we can get directions to our end user location. We can map the end user location um, in a couple of different ways there. So uh, just in this video, for example, we're going to get directions to the end user location. So if I click that link, this will actually leverage the current location of the device that is making the request. Um, and in this case, we can see that uh, from my location currently to Boise City Hall um, in downtown Boise, uh, is roughly 15 minutes. There's my directions, and then this is a Google Maps uh, native functionality here, so there's really no um, particular, uh, you know, it's nothing special here per se. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop out of Google Maps from a desktop perspective, and I'm going to drop out of the request from a desktop perspective. And we're going to fade in, and I'm going to get uh, my iPad out, and we're going to show this from an iPad perspective so we can show how easy this is on a mobile device. Okay, so here we are on my iPad, and what I've done is just uh, replicate my display onto my desktop for the f uh, sake for uh, video recording here. Um, but we're looking at Service Anywhere on my iPad, uh, so we're looking at the same request that we looked at here a moment ago. I'm going to select it. I'm going to drill into it. Um, and I made that click, single click on my iPad. Um, and as this pulls up, I'm going to go to the More menu, and I'm going to go to Directions to End User Locations, and what you should see is Google Maps application launching, the Google Maps application taking the information as passed uh, from Service Anywhere into Google Maps. And we can see that from my specific location, now my uh, specific iPad is GPS enabled, so it knows exactly where I'm at. Um, so from my current location all the way downtown, by way of a certain freeway here, I can get directions. It's roughly 16 minutes or 8.3 miles. Um, I can go ahead and take this uh, set of directions and start my navigation from here. Um, again, showing how quickly and easy it is 
application out of service anywhere to third-party applications uh, in a custom integration style and this is a very common use case for a lot of field service organizations um, and really could, could show value uh, from that perspective thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this this live demonstration of service anywhere as well as uh, the integration out to google maps